Hey guys, in this video we are going to see how to make your own custom shader by learning from others. So if you are not subscribed to the channel then click the subscribe button and let's go into the video. So what we are going to do is we are going to there are like so many shaders available on the group. For example this one from Nolan. So Nolan is an actually a great person and he has a Patreon for his thing you can learn from him a link is patreon link in the description below so for an example let's see of this film this uh, shader so this is just like a triangular form like patches like follows one after one so I just made a I was just testing a few stuff like we are going to uh, make this crazy shape filter in this thing so this is the low Nolan's filter I just made the Nolan's filter and like this is the exact Nolan's filter which he created so let's put it on a plane let's see how this filter looks like I'll just play this so this is actually a simple normal filter where like the two HDF shapes like increase in size due to the loop animation which like increases and reduces and this is the rotation is happening so how to customize this own shader so each shader has its own properties like you have to understand what is happening on the shader so for example if you see this shader entirely this is entirely made with HDF shape which is a easiest form to draw any shapes on the screen so as you can see over here this is basically a line STF line is basically a line so what is happening over here so first thing you what you have to know for making your own shaders is understand what is happening on the shader so for example I know that in rotational repeat is responsible for the triangular shape that is because if you are like I'm just messing around this shape so you can see that the rotational repeat gives some different effect so this is helpful for you to understand like you have to debug what's happening on the shaders that is like you have to see what is happening and like you have to play with the values like for example if I change it to like 10 so you can see some cool effect is happening that is the shapes are changing so what if I change the size of this so you can see this is a cool effect for example if you are putting this on a user's head that will be a, a awesome one so let me put that let's create a face mesh let's, just, let's put it under this we'll just hide this yeah let, let's I'll just put it outside delete these entire things so we have seen a property called the face position so like yeah so you can see this is actually a cool effect where you have done a cool effect without doing anything just by following a simple tutorial which is available on the Facebook page and you did something different so in order to bring make your own stuff you have to understand what's happening on the shader so in this we are rotation, rotating the lines and making different shapes so this is actually an awesome filter so I'll just take a screenshot of it so this is one of the things so let's take a look of another example that is from JAWS oh this is the so we will take another example that is JAWS so you have seen this tutorial on what's happening in this tutorial what's happening in this so in this tutorial what is basically happening is you are multiplying the based on the time the shapes are changing so as you can see this is happening on a segmented layer and stuff is happening so if I want to play with this what can you make from this so if you are having some layers and layers of things the easiest way to understand stuff or to make something cool 
is to just play with the stuff that is i'm just taking the material instead of giving the thing to the distortion shader i'm just directly pointing this to this as you can see this produces some crazy shapes like alien based effect so this is like black and white so let's see what is this showing this is like a more contrast version of it like we have increased the exposure because of it it's changed let's take it from the directly from the blend mode wow this is actually a cool effect where like awesome shapes are happening so let's see where the point we can just modify it and make it our own so i'm just making going to put it like 0.5 it's like let's put a zero what's happening let's see what's so zero is not showing anything so let's put 0.7 8 so the shape is increasing let's put 2 so you can see based on the size of this the total effect is changing that is we created some alien like particles from josh's normal filter like distortion tutorial into a alien based tutorial so you have to like play with the shaders which is available for you the cool place to like find shaders is basically you can search on the community you can just the made uh, shaders these guys shaders are like crazy level you can just buy the shaders or there are places where you can just get it for free i'll just link these guys uh, gumroad links on the description below Raymond Studio uh, shaders are good. Like he has some free shaders also. Like these stuff are like for free shaders. Yes. Like Kevin's shader is also good. Like this guy creates crazy stuff on shaders. So his shaders are like really pretty dope. You can just download them. Or uh, these guys like I just found like everyone are like searching for some STF shape shaders which you can just. edited by yourself like uh, these are like 2 dollars or 5 dollars or like these shaders are like free shaders or also there you can just buy it you can download it you can just modify it and you can just play with this like unless you like hands on experience with what you are the shaders you will not make your own shaders so uh, if you like this video like it share it and subscribe to the channel thank you